Hi, my name's Alice Rose. Today I'm going to be styling cat's hair. We're going to do a nice soft beachy wave. Because cat's hair is this long, I would always recommend using quite a large curling iron. It's going to give a bit more of a natural look rather than really, really curly. I like to start at the front when I'm doing other people's hair because then you can let that part cool down for as long as possible. When you're trying to do a beachy wave, it's always best to have the heating tool pointing down. The more horizontal you have your tool, the more of a real curl you're going to get. So if you keep it facing down, that's going to give more of a wavy effect. For beachy waves, I always like to go away from the face. It gives a nice windswept kind of look. Another tip when you're curling hair, if you leave it in how it falls out of the curl like that, to cool down for as long as possible, the curls will hold for longer. So as I said, it's best to leave it sitting and curling like that for as long as possible. The longer you let it cool down, the longer it will hold. So now i finished Kat's hair. What I did after all the curling was let it cool for a little while and then tip her head back and shake it out a little bit. Use whatever texture spray, hairspray you want. And then if you're feeling like it's not big enough, you can get a wide tooth comb and back comb it really roughly. You don't have to be pedantic about it. And then just continuously fluff it up. <laughs> so now I'll get Nikki and we'll do the final reveal.